What better way to start the basketball season than having a conversation with Kia Damon Olson of the Lafayette women's basketball team getting ready to go in just about a week or so as they'll prepare for the 2021-22 season. Kia, let's look back a little bit on what you've lost because it's a pretty huge loss. You lost maybe the best player in the Patriot League and you lost maybe not quite your point guard, but probably your best shooting guard on the outside. So obviously two big holes to fill. No, absolutely. Um, and obviously we knew graduation was coming for mm -hmm. both uh, Natalie and Drew. And I will say this, I think we have um, a by committee approach and the returning players have attacked the off season and um, added to their games, mm -hmm. made adjustments in areas where we needed to do that. We have an influx of, of new talent, whether it be first years or transfers in, um, that will help bolster our roster as well. So you don't replace that type of productivity with one or two people, but it will definitely be a sum total effort. Another negative, and then we'll get off the negatives <laughs> and only talk positive, is you get, you get an all-state player from Pennsylvania, transfer out of Villanova, Talia Medina, everybody in this area knows all about her. Uh, everybody's excited she's gonna be on the roster and all of a sudden now for the year. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. It was just like a common play and maybe mm -hmm. just one of those um, too many right things happened at the wrong time and, and it led to um, an ACL tear. So she will be out for the season, but pleasantly, she's already ahead of schedule, already had surgery. And so now it's the rehab process. Um, if there is a bright spot, you know, she's familiar obviously with mm -hmm. that process mm -hmm. and knowing how to manage your body and your mind through that process is, is pretty um, important. And she seems to be off to a great start with that. Let's take a look first of all at the backcourt where obviously you do have some experience. That is good news. How are things going early on in the practices? You know what? Things are um, very interesting right now. Um, we have a lot of moving parts in terms of, you know, people have been in and out of practices with uh, sicknesses um, or it's been minor, mm -hmm. you know, injuries mm -hmm. that you're trying to preserve them through the season. So there's a little bit more rest and things of that nature. So we're trending towards getting everyone back, practicing, getting reps together, learning one another building that team chemistry, which is which is so important with a younger team. Are you deep in that area? Do you have enough players to shuffle yeah. people in and out? Absolutely. I think we have four players who could spend some time at mm -hmm. the point. A number of them can play on the ball, off the ball. So um, we have a great deal of flexibility there, and that's what we've been building towards over the years in recruiting. The three and four spots, uh, again, maybe finding a good outside shooter is critical. No, absolutely. Um, we've bolstered um, you know, our guards and our forwards. Um, obviously with Talia going out she was someone that could mm -hmm. play both of those positions um, Michaela Wilson has been phenomenal in terms of how she's returned um, and I you know may have to play with a little bit more power than I have um, maybe since my first or second year and using we have a lot of bigs and so maybe mm -hmm. playing with them a little bit and mixing in some small ball playing with four guards um, and one true big so we have a lot of flexibility which the, uh, the roster affords us now it's just a part of a point of how we put all those things together. In five years, obviously, you've put together the kind of team that you want to have, and I know you want to run. Yep. This team can run? Absolutely. Um, one of the things that we've attacked from postseason to now is expanding how we run. So yes, we want to run up and down on the change of possession, but now we're playing faster in the half court. We're picking up that tempo, and so that requires a different mm -hmm. level of uh, mm -hmm. conditioning. It also requires our kids to be able to make reasons and uh, decisions at a much faster rate, and that's a thing that we've been practicing and we were supposed to have two scrimmages we've only had one thus far and so far it looks like the things that we have practiced are carrying over fast break start because you get the ball and a missed shot at the other end defensively how about the rebounding how strong are you well it's it's going to be again a by committee approach and it's going to be something that we have to drill when you just have kids who can go get it mm -hmm versus now you're having to have to teach a whole lot of technique. Um, but we're gonna, it's gonna be imperative to get stops. You need to get rebounds. So it's something that we focus on a great deal, talk about a great deal, and, and the commitment to doing it is there. And we're gonna need more support from the guards to help us in rebounding, as opposed to allowing just the front court players to do a lot of that work. We're going to see a lot of you on the Lafayette Sports Network early on because a lot of your independent games are home games. Yeah. How do you like your independent schedule? What do you want that schedule to do for you? Well, I like the schedule a lot, and actually a lot of it is the schedule we were supposed to have last year mm -hmm. um, before 
um, the decision to have no non-league games. And so it's really going to compare us. If you really look at the teams that we're competing, we have a number of teams who've competed in postseason play, whether that's the NCAA tournament, NIT. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You have a number of kid, uh, teams who are challenging for conference crowns. And so it's really going to prepare us different styles of play. Uh, for the for the Patriot League, which you know, for us, that's where we have to be trending towards our best. You sound optimistic. Very much so. I mean, each it's a new year, it's a fresh start, and in some sense, it's a reshaping of the identity of the team in in a little bit of ways, and and that's always fun for a coach. We certainly look forward to women's basketball on campus this year on the Lafayette Sports Network. Kia Damon Olson, thanks for taking time and spending time with us. Thanks for having me. Good to see you. All right, that is the Lafayette Sports Network.